Isn't Easter glorious, my friend? I just love going to church on Easter morning and seeing the sanctuary full of people. I also love going to church and inhaling the aroma of all of the beautiful Easter lilies that adorn the front of the sanctuary. Does your church have Easter lilies for the Easter service, my friend? I do have a close friend who has never been in church on Easter Sunday. They would love to attend church but are allergic to Easter lilies. Their allergy to the seasonal plant affects their respiratory system, and it makes it difficult to breathe. I have other friends that have other types of allergies to Easter. Some of my friends stay away from church because their lack of faith makes it impossible to attend worship. They have what I call an allergy to the miraculous movement of God. My friends can't imagine a God overcoming death, so they remain outside the church on Easter morning. I want you to know that as glorious as Easter is, it is not all about Jesus. God created Easter just for us. We go into the tomb with Jesus wrapped in our shroud of sins. We would remain unforgiven and sin-stained, but God drug our dead carcasses out of the tomb on Easter, giving us a glorious new life free from sin and draped in glory. I wander in awe at the glory of Esther morning with the resurrection of Jesus. But I fall to my knees in humble repentance that God should create Easter for me. Easter is our personal holiday when we receive the power to change and draw closer to God. Today, I rose from the grave with Jesus, and you joined us in glory, my friend. When the tomb is empty, expect God's love to be full. Don't be alarmed, he said. I know you are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is not here, he has been raised. Look, here is the place where he was placed. Mark 16 verse 8. A lot can go on in an empty tomb. Wondrous worlds were created from emptiness. Stunning solar systems gave beams of light from total darkness. Breath and life animated flesh and blood to create life. If the vastness of creation can appear from nothingness, what can hold life back from a dark lifeless tomb? I want you to anticipate Easter miracles in your life, my child. Do not sit back and watch the world move by you like some passive parade. Engage life with all the joy, hope, and celebration you can muster. Spring out of bed each morning like you are being raised from a tomb. What deep, dark, and desperate secret sins do you hold in your tomb of death, dear heart? Place your sins beside me in the tomb, and watch, your sins will lie lifeless, like abandoned funeral garments. You, on the other hand, will be raised to new life by my loving grace. A lot can happen in an empty tomb. You can receive a new Easter life. Easter is not just a religious holiday celebrating the resurrection of the Savior. Easter is a pathway for new spiritual life and restored well-being. The same power that raised Jesus from the grave can lift you from your shadowed sins. Do not look for your old sins or the contrary way of life. They are not here, you have risen beyond your past into a future I created just for you. What happened to Jesus will happen to you. The loving Savior was the lamp to illuminate your way out of the tomb of sin. A completely transformed you stands in shining white spiritual garments because you are now spotless and holy. Rejoice in the day because Jesus is risen, he is risen indeed. Celebrate this day because you are raised to new life, you are raised indeed. Phew, what a day and what a week. Thank you so much for joining us during this holy week. I hope that your time with us was a blessing and a way for you to grow in your Christian faith. I always look at Easter as a pivotal spiritual point in my life. I know that my sins are forgiven. I believe that I am a new creation in Christ. The challenge is that I must live like I was raised with Jesus. Won't you join me in prayer, my friend? All glory and honor to you, O God. You saw your children struggling and lost in the shadows of sin. By your love and through your grace, you sent Jesus. Jesus was born of the essence of human and spiritual holiness. Jesus lived and walked among us but did not sin. We, too, 
are spiritual beings in a physical body, yet we sin. Jesus paved the way to salvation with his death on the cross. Our sins are crucified with Jesus. Jesus rose from the dead into glory. We, too, rise from the grave of sin into the glory of salvation. We thank you for the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus, O God. We thank you for our lives and the life that lies beyond the grave. Glorious our God, holy is our Lord, and loving is the Spirit. Glory be to Christ our Lord, Amen. May you have a blessed Easter, my friend, in the Spirit of God. I hope you find time to relax and restore your spirit. May this day be a day of new beginnings for you as you have been raised from the death of sin into the presence of the Savior. God did not forget us, God will never abandon us, nothing is closer to us than the Spirit of God. Go in Easter peace, my friend.